All right, folks, back for another quick Dokkan video. And this will be good for me because I'm actually not really feeling too well. But we had the intro as well as the active skill for LR, Vegeta, and Trunks. Remember, this unit's coming to global on the 28th. We have now the English dub voice line. So it'll definitely be interesting to hear this. And I'm, I'm curious as well because for me, like Vegeta and Trunks, they are definitely one of my favorite releases this year. They're probably like a top three release for me, I think, this year. Like definitely Physical Kid Goku's number one. Maybe this unit is two. I'd have to think about who number three is. Maybe it's like the LR Gods or something, right? Let's just go ahead and uh, react to the the stuff. I, this is also annoying me. I tried recording this. I say recording this. I tried to play the clip before, but this cursor won't disappear. So bear with me. All right, so beginning with AGL Goku Black. I feel like his animations are okay, right? Like, they're in line with the uh, with the other side of any units that they've released this year. There are some cool f moments or cool frames like that, but, I mean, it is what it is. All right, here we go. Intro time. Yeah, this goes hard. Yeah, okay. Yeah, bro, this is hard. Yeah, this is why I really like this intro, man. It's so sick. That is, like, seriously one of the hardest intros in Dokkan ever. I know, like, the Bardock intro is really good, but that's more, like, emotional impact. This is just, like, Vegeta, like, talking some sense into Trunks, right? Like, I don't know. It's a really cool intro for me. And the, the OSTs as well. Very high-quality sighting OSTs for both the intro and... And the actor score. And even for these super attack animations, the 12 and 18 key, I feel like there's not a single bad frame here. Every frame looks good. It looks pretty fluid. Of course, the active skill is really where it's at, right? Especially the OST. Dokkan really kicked it up a notch when it came to the to the active skill specifically. Ah, there we go. Be a shield for this world. Let's go, Trunks. Yeah, this is hard. This is sick. Gallic gun. Let him have it. Yeah, this is this is good. Yeah, I'm impressed. Wait, what? Wait, wait. I, was that like? Did he just say rye? As in like rye bread, rye cracker? One minute. Let me play that again. Yeah, he, he okay. That that's probably the only bad moment. He said right instead of right, but again, like you know, you know how global Dokken gets down. They put the OST up to like two hundred percent, and then they leave the actual voice lines at like fifty percent. So I think once we get it in game, it'll definitely be easier to listen to. And yeah, that's that, that's for real for real. Like, that's my like probably my one of my favorite intro active skills this year. Yeah, it's really good. Um, the only thing I'll say is like. And again, this isn't really a Vegeta and Trunks specific problem. It's more so a global problem because I feel like the, the mouth flaps, right, are designed for the Japanese unit. So sometimes they don't match. I think that was pretty evident in the intro. Let me just uh, go back to the intro here. Just play that. Yeah, like... Yeah, like, not talk, like he didn't he wasn't talking at the end there so it's just that that's my only like criticism or blemish but that's not so much a blemish on the unit animations or the unit quality it's mainly just again mouth flaps which you can't really change because uh, dokkan are not going to develop two different sets of animations right for both global and jp but yeah overall i'm pretty impressed i'll probably do a should you summon tomorrow if you want to summon i'm not going to say no right but just be aware guys i think there's a big chance that superheroes coming literally next month I don't know what it could be. It could be Orange Piccolo, it could be Ultimate Gohan, it could be Beast Gohan, it could be Cell Max. However, remember this unit will be returning for Saiyan Day. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think. I was really impressed with the animations, but more specifically the voice acting. I thought it was really good on the global side. And I'll catch you in the next one.